Oh, Queenie, what's going on? What's happening? Where are you going when we go to Las Vegas? You're going to Nan Nan's. You're going, You're going Nan Nan's. Nanny. Listen, you can't do that to mummy. You can't give me kisses and cuddles because Not we're on camera. Not yet, wearing the makeup. Yeah. You're wearing the makeup. <laughs> do it after. You jump down. Yeah. Tonight we'll have lots of kisses and cuddles in bed. My name is Kelly Pierce and I'm 27 from Carshalton Beaches. And I'm Josie Carter and I'm the big 5 0. I'm from Carshalton <laughs> Beaches too. <laughs> Queenie Woofworth, she's two and a half now, and she's a chocolate tri chihuahua, quite an unusual breed as well because of her colourings. She's got beautiful markings on her, like her eyebrows, she's got white eyebrows as well, which are really cool and distinct. Um, the thing is with Queenie, she's a lot like a woman. She takes forever to get ready because there's so many things you've got to think about. You know, we think about makeup, hair, and she's not that far away from us. You know, she has to smell good, she has to look good, yeah. she has to make sure that her outfits are matching with her, you know, blingy collars. And we also have to then decide what poo bags to take because obviously the poo bags have to match the outfit. So, you know, from start to finish, getting ready in the morning, it can take a good half an hour just to kind of get yeah, ready get to, everything to put on the lead and take for a walk. Make sure. Ready. I have pimped Queenie's buggy out and I'm quite prepared to pimp anybody else's buggy out with beautiful diamonds and things. We take it to shows, it's like the Pope has um, his Pope and Bill, Queenie has her buggy mobile, it keeps her safe, um, it stops her from being trampled on. Um, Queenie! Ooh, what have I got? What have I got? Mm. Yum yum! At the moment, we've got over 30,000 followers on Twitter. Jonathan Ross follows her, so we were getting all excited about the different people that were following her. Celebrities and, following yeah. our, our dog. Yeah, it was, it was like, like an amazing deal. Yeah, it was <laughs> crazy. Crackers, yeah. The fan following is just massive. We have people coming from all over the country. Always gets recognised on the street. Somebody will come up to her and see her and chat to us about her outfit. And um, it, they really, Where really like it. Where did you get it, it from? <laughs> Where did you get it from? Where was your lead and where was your collar from? And that's how the business started really, mm. was because everybody kept saying to us, your stuff is so unusual. And we source it from all different countries. Come on then, come to mummy. We, the only concern we have about Queenie is the amount of money we spend on her. It's very vulgar to talk about money, but if you've got to talk about it, it's well over 10 grand a year. <laughs> <laughs> and we, we love it. <laughs> we actually decided it got, it spiralled a little bit out of control when, when we first got her. Oh, terribly. And we started to write down, you know, kind of what, what we were spending on her. And then we decided to stop writing it down. Because yeah. if, my, if my dad found out about it, I would be in so much oh, no. trouble. Do you know what?